1999 when I embarked on an extensive research trip through the Nordic lands. Um, I one of the my second stop was was Gotland, and the reason that Gotland was so important is it contains unique treasures which do not exist anywhere else, and that is the standing painted stones, from which we have learned more about Old Norse life than we have from any other source uh, because of the way in which they have been decorated. We've learned more about ships and rigging and steering oars and hairstyles and fashions and so much about uh, saga stories. And there's so, there's so many things we cannot interpret uh, from that era. But as it turns out, because Gotland is, was first peopled 8,000 years ago, it's extremely rich in uh, Bronze Age finds as well. Uh, and some of the standing stones are very early and quite magnificent. And then they move right through to, you know, past the point of Christianization when these carved, beautifully decorated stones then appear with crosses on them, runes, written runic inscriptions by crosses. Um, so I came to see those. And uh, it is quite an, an amazing fact and re really kind of hard to get your head around that in this small island, which is about 100 miles long and 35 miles wide, in the middle of the Baltic, over 700 silver hoards have been found. Mm -hmm. Over 700. There have been... Uh, tons of silver that have been found here. And uh, when I had arrived in September of 1999, the largest Viking Age hoard ever found had just been unearthed in, in July. And that is known as the Spillings Hoard. And the it's called the Spillings Hoard because that is the name of the farm that it was found on, on the north um, east coast of Gotland above a vic, above a bay, it's called Bogevik. And it consisted of 67 kilos of silver, 148 pounds of silver, and also a remarkably beautiful amount of very well-worked Slavic bronze. It was um, 20 kilos, 44 pounds of beautiful bronze work, which had been deposited under a farmhouse. And these in, in three different caches, very close to each other, just a few meters away from each other. They were found by the farmer who owned who owns the farm, and he immediately called the, the county. Again, this was one of 700 hordes that's been found, and hordes are being found all the time. Hordes have been kicked out of the earth by bunny rabbits here. <laughs> there have been, there, there's people felling trees. You know, silver has spilled out of the roots. It's just astonishing rich and you know why is this um gotland was a uniquely peaceful place during the viking age it had no king it had no king it had no warlord gotland was peopled by prosperous clever hard-working farmer traders its location more or less in the middle of the baltic meant that it was a ideal destination for Silk Road trade crossing the Baltic and heading, you know, further west to the trading posts of Haithabu and Birka and Ribe. I mean, and so ships were, were landing here, they were taking on fresh supplies, and they were trading. The results of all of this meant that there was an amazing amount of silver coinage from the east. In the Spillings uh, hoard alone, there were 14,300 coins. Mm -hmm. There's been over 200,000 coins found here on Gotland. And by the way, more late Anglo-Saxon coins have been found here on Gotland than have ever been found in Britain. Think when about did, that. When more... did all, when did all, oh, sorry, when did all that start? Is like 19th century archeology span or? Oh no, it's been dug up much earlier than that. and. Who who know? I mean, we we have records, you know, like church records where the parson was out, you know, digging a grave and he came across this hoard and then, you know, melted it down for a, 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 a patent and a chalice. 
I mean, it has <laughs> constantly been found over hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, but the, the 14,300 coins that were found in the Spillings Hoard, the largest silver hoard ever found on Earth, were almost all Arabian dirhams. And th this was money that was trade. You know, this was trading money and that was being poured into here. It It is um, perhaps significant that the farmstead in, in which the Spillings Hoard was found appears to have been uh, the home and workshop of a smith. Of course, smiths were always prosperous members of any community um, and magical members of any community too, because they could control fire and iron and make useful implements and weaponry. So here was a, a very rich family who had deposited um, their, their savings. Uh, and it's just one of so many 700, again, hordes that have been unearthed.